Hey guys, and welcome back to What's for Dinner. Tonight we're making chicken parmesan, or some variation of chicken parmesan. This variation of chicken parmesan involves noodles, which normal chicken parmesan doesn't. So we're gonna try that and see how that works. Right now I'm defrosting the chicken in the microwave. Additional ingredients that are called for, as mentioned earlier, are tomato sauce, cheese, specifically mozzarella cheese, and pasta. The recipe called for penne pasta, but I don't have penne, so we're going to use shells. So we can start by first preheating the oven to 375 degrees and getting a pot of water on the stove to boil. Pot. Fill the pot with water. Put water on stove and begin that. Oh, also, preheat the oven. Oven is on. Still waiting for the chicken. I just checked the chicken. It is still very much frozen, so I put it in for another five minutes to defrost. While we wait for that, I'm going to get out some of the other side dishes that will accompany the main chicken parmesan meal. Scalloped potatoes. We'll make this. And of course we need a veggie. So we'll steam some mixed vegetables in the microwave once the chicken's done. So I changed my mind. Instead of having those scalloped potatoes, I think I have some frozen pierogies that I can eat up. I think I found them. Why yes, I have some frozen pierogies here. Frozen lumps of dough with potato stuff inside them. They're very good. If you're not familiar with pierogi, they're very good. It's just a dough with a potato mixture with some cheese and whatnot mixed inside. Gonna check on the chicken. Oh, it's getting there. Oh, there we go. I think that's enough chicken right there. The rest of this can go away. And we'll defrost this one a little bit more. We're going to get out a pan to start the pierogies. We'll have two pierogies. Put those right in the pan. Seal these back up and put them back in the freezer. Until next time. Now we continue to wait for the chicken to defrost. In a shocking turn of events, the chicken is still defrosting. But I'm gonna get out a pot that we're gonna put the chicken in to cook it. Chicken pot. Oven is now preheated, water is just about boiling. And guess what? The chicken is still defrosting. Well, the chicken's still a little frozen, but we're gonna run with it for now, because it's boiling water here and pierogies, yeah, sure. So we're gonna turn the heat on to the chicken. We're just gonna put the chicken breast in the the pot, I guess. And as the chicken breast cooks, we're going to break it up into smaller pieces. Our water is boiling nicely here. I'm going to go and dump some noodles in. Very scientific way of boiling noodles. A spoon to stir them. Now while those boil, we're going to want to chicken and see how that long that takes. I'm going to get a spatula to break it up as it starts cooking. Our chicken is cooking nicely. It's, however, not cutting very nicely, so I may have to do some cutting with an actual knife while it's in this. Noodles are looking good. I'm going to grab my knife over here and a fork and try cutting this chicken in the pot. That's working much better. Now this chicken should be able to cook a little bit better. Now that the chicken is cut and it's cooking a little bit better than what it was, I'm going to add some salt and pepper. Just a bit, not much. I like to do what the recipe calls for. Noodles are just about done. I'm going to taste the noodles, see if they're done. They look done. Yes, they are done. It goes off of heat for now. Chicken is almost ready, just a little bit longer yet. I'm also trying to make the pieces that I made slightly smaller. And in doing that, I'm seeing which ones are done and which ones aren't. And with that, this chicken is ready. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and dump these noodles in. After I strain them, noodles are strained and then they go. We mix all this together. And then we add our tomato sauce, which I have over here. mix 
all this together for a short while. Get the sauce out of there. All the sauce is in. I'm going to add a little bit of parsley, which I forgot to mention at the beginning that I had that I was going to add, just to give it some color. The main recipe called for basil, but I don't have any basil. It makes it look nice and colorful. So the pasta, chicken, and tomato sauce have all been thoroughly mixed. I'm now going to bring them over here, and we're going to layer it into a pan with some cheese. Okay, we truck this over here. Get a ladle or spoon of some kind to scoop it in. I'm going to adjust the camera so you won't see my face, but you'll see what I'm actually doing. So we take our mixture that we just got, that we just made, and we're going to layer it evenly in here, or as evenly as we can, into this pot, into this pan. Just like so. Now we're going to make a layer of cheese. So I'm going to take some mozzarella first. Get a nice hefty helping of that on there. And then we're going to add some shaved parmesan. Then we take the remainder of the chicken, tomato sauce, and noodles and put it on top and do the same thing once more. I'm also going to add a little more parsley to the top of this before we put it in the oven. Our meal is ready to be baked. Let's put it in the oven. And now we wait 20 minutes. So it's been about 20-ish minutes, maybe 18 or so minutes. I'm going to check, see if it looks good. And it's making bubbling noises, so it might be done. So it's been another two minutes. I'm going to take it out and see what it looks like. Doesn't look too bad, if I don't say so myself. I'm very much excited to try this. Let's, uh, let's see how it, uh, how it turned out. The veggies and the pierogies all look pretty good. Let's, let's see how this concoction of pasta and cheese and chicken is. Gotta find some chicken here. Hold on. There we go. Let's try this. Yes. Very good. Very good. Probably could use a tad more cheese, but... It's very good. I hope you enjoyed this episode of What's for Dinner, and I'll see you all next time. Take care, and God bless.